extra time. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty surreal, really. Um, I guess it's such a unique experience to, um, to I guess, watch yourself go through an auction like that in the early hours of the morning. And um, yeah, I think it's probably still kind of sinking a little bit. And uh, I guess, yeah, try and take in I guess how it's all unfolded. For it, I think there's no sort of textbook to um, say how to how to approach that sort of stuff. And I think that's probably how I've tried to I guess take it is that it's such a unique experience, and um, you know, it's trying to embrace the the whole situation of it all and just, um, yeah, I guess just trying to enjoy the moment. Looking back, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've done a lot of recounting and a lot of reviewing the year that's been. I mean, you must be pretty stoked with yourself, pretty chuffed to say the least. Yeah, look, it's been, a, it's been an, uh, an interesting 12 months. It's, um, yeah, I guess it's been so so special to be a part of this Black Caps group and, um, you know, I guess to have some of the experiences I've had. And I guess for me, it's just trying to soak up each moment and um, take them as they come. And, um, I certainly love being a part of this group and um, each moment that I could be a part of that and I guess uh, yeah, just be around the group is pretty special. Oh, you said you were going to sleep throughout, did you or did you wake up? I actually went to sleep pretty early, I was asleep about just before 10 so I actually thought that was actually pretty good for me and woke up around midnight and um, decided to check the phone and uh, yeah, I guess just trying to um, embrace um, I guess the whole experience, you know, I don't know if this will ever happen again and I thought I'd, rather than trying to avoid the situation I'll, um, yeah, I'll sit back and enjoy it. And, it was certainly um, a weird kind of hour and a half waiting for my name to be called up and certainly a different experience so but yeah it was pretty pretty special and pretty surreal. Who was the first person to call? Did you get on the phone to your parents? Were they up as well? Uh, I actually called my partner and I uh, um, I woke her up, she was asleep so uh, yeah that was a pretty cool moment just to kind of sit back and um, I guess there wasn't a whole lot of words spoken to be fair and uh, but then called mum and dad, they were up as well, so um, yeah, did that and then just turned the phone off and tried to get some sleep. Yeah, you know, rubbing shoulders with Rick Coley, you know, A.B. De Williams, Glenn Maxwell at the RTB, and you know, like some superstars of World Cricket, what's it going to be like for you in the development? Yeah, I think it's such a special experience, I think, you know, I'm so fortunate to go to a team with, um, you know, with superstars of the game like that, and, you know, they've, they've had success for such a long period of time, those guys, and just to, um, you know, rub shoulders with them and try and learn and, um, and grow as a cricketer is going to be something that, yeah, I'm certainly relishing. How are you going to deal with the pressure, obviously, you know, going for the full price um, price in history? I mean, there's going to be a lot of expectation on you over in India. How do you deal with that if you're thinking like the IPL? Uh, to be fair, I don't think a whole lot changes to me. I guess, like, I uh, accept that there will be expectation, but that's been the case the whole time I've played. You know, when you play you know, your first one-day game, your first test in different series, there's always expectation, but I guess that's uh, probably more externally than it is with me. I think, for me, it's about how can I learn, how can I grow, and focusing on trying to do a job for the team at the time and um, yeah, I guess all that uh, external expectation just um, is just kind of there. How was Double Tech last night? Did you flick on the TV and you were actually watching it, did you? Like, what was it like when you actually, you know, heard your name called and that bidding war going on, you know, that three-way bidding war? Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a weird experience. I hadn't really um, gone through anything like that before. Um, I had a message from Shane Bond as it was going and he was sort of saying around, you know, how good's this and I didn't actually know what the um, what the amount of money and you know how that uh, I guess translates to New Zealand dollars, but it was quite cool to share that moment with him and um, you know, sort of ride that uh, two or three minutes with him. What's going to be your next purchase? <laughs> uh, probably a few coffees, I would have thought. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know. Look, it's it's only been a couple of hours, and like I said, my my bank account hasn't sort of changed overnight. But you know, there'll be a little bit of stick given and a few a few coffees and a few beers, I'm sure. You know, if you're T20 bowling, like, where do you feel you've got to make the, the you know, most progress? You know, where, where do you feel you've, you've still got work for improvement there with your T20 stuff? Well, I think it's across the board, really. I think as a cricket, you're trying to improve in all areas, whether it's new ball and variations and, you know, slow balls, yorkers, that sort of stuff. I don't think there's necessarily one area that you're trying to focus on the whole time, but, uh, yeah, I think any sort of growth you can make in any area and in different conditions and different situations is, um, yeah, I guess is always key. Um, just as well, Pat, like you've got to be first and foremost your dream is to become a black cat. But going to the IPL, is that something that's always been on your cricket bucket list, you could say? Yeah, for sure. I think it's such a um, special tournament. It's, you know, obviously the biggest franchise tournament round and there's so many cool experiences we had over there and learning opportunities and, um, you know, that's the thing that I guess excites me the most is, you know, being able to rub shoulders with these guys and, um, yeah, just, just it's such a unique situation for us as cricketers and to be able to do that is uh, yeah, something pretty special. I guess, yeah, are you just really proud of what you've achieved in the last 12 months? Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, not just the 12 months, I think it's across um, yeah, the course of my career so far, there's certainly moments that 
um, I try and sit back and enjoy and um, you know I think like everyone you're always proud of uh, proud of achievements and whether that is a headline or um, or not there's you know there's things that you sort of um, yeah sort of give yourself I guess a bit of a pat on the back but um, it's pretty special and yeah I guess uh, as it sort of uh, sinks in a little bit we'll sort of take a moment and um, just acknowledge what's happened. Quickly on the Aussies, three days away, it's easy to get your feet back on the ground and refocus. Yeah, for sure. You know, such a big challenge we've got with them, and um, you know, in three days' time, and certainly looking forward to that. Sold out at Hagley as well, so uh, my first uh, first experience with Aussies, so um, certainly looking forward to that. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.